Dear friends and colleagues, uh, hello again. Uh, for the second time today, I'm going to uh, talk about our research uh, study that uh, actually um, evaluated the link between dietary creatine and growth indicators in children and adolescents. Uh, this study is actually a part of our program aimed to understand the relationship between dietary intake of creatine and uh, children growth in really various um, uh, subpopulations. Actually, we would like to understand how creatine affects uh, children growth and this is just a cross-sectional approach. So additional studies, longitudinal uh, interventional are currently ongoing. The idea uh, behind the whole uh, project actually was that uh, we somehow recognize that uh, the adequate provision of creatine from food might be important, even necessary, for optimizing human growth. We already know that creatine might be considered as a semi-conditional nutrient. So uh, that um, essential role might be particularly highlighted in, in uh, children. We already know that the de novo uh, or um, uh, nutritional um, intake of creatine is very important to uphold uh, placental function as well as normal uh, pregnancy, fetal growth and um, maturation. Um, so far, using the creatine deficiency syndrome uh, models or um, human trials, we already know that children who um, um, uh, are able to get uh, extra creatine from food with CDC um, uh, allows um, uh, normal development, both, both mental and physical development, and children are able to thrive uh, normally when they are supplied with enough uh, creatine. Uh, on the other uh, hand, the creatine appears to be uh, well, uh, well, very safe and effective intervention in a plethora of different studies that evaluated pediatric uh, patients uh, or uh, at least. But still, there is no enough data uh, about uh, the link between dietary creatine on one side and uh, growth indicators. So we decided to, to quantify the amount of creatine consumed uh, through the regular uh, diet among um, uh, children and adolescents aged 2 to 9 years using the data uh, from 2001-2012 uh, and Haynes uh, rounds and also to really uh, find a way uh, how to uh, evaluate the possible link between creatine uh, intake and uh, various growth indicators in this uh, sample. So uh, the, the whole enhanced round um, uh, involved uh, about 11,000 male and female individuals, but we, uh, for this analysis, extracted data for uh, children and adolescents aged two to uh, nine years uh, who provided information about uh, their diet and also several examination uh, measures. The dietary uh, information has been collected through the dietary data component using 24-hour recall in-person uh, interview and we, and we calculated actually the amount of creatine consumed um, per day for each uh, participant uh, using the previously uh, published uh, the average amount of creatine 3.88 grams per kilo across all the meat sources uh, used. The primary exposure for this study was the mean grams of creatine consumed per day and the secondary exposure included uh, the mean um, dietary intake uh, of creatine consumed daily categorized into uh, quartiles. And also for the final uh, um, uh, data table we uh, also included um, the information from the examination data uh, subdomain for various body measurements including the weight a height uh, BMI, but also uh, BMI percentiles using the CDC GROW uh, charts. So the average intake of creatine in our uh, study uh, was uh, about uh, 1.07 uh, grams per day. And the final sample actually uh, uh, included a, a little bit more than 4,000 uh, participants. And we calculated the quartiles uh, of creatine intake. What appears to be uh, uh, most important in terms of uh, compara comparison between height, weight and BMI across the quartiles, it appears that there is a significant uh, difference between the quartiles of creatine intake with uh, um, a strong trend showing that the 
um, children who uh, uh, intake uh, ingest more creatine have higher well, well values uh, for height weight and uh, BMI as shown in this in this table on the other hand we compare the differences between a stator a stature for age and a BMI for age across a different um, uh, c uh, categories of short, normal, and tall stature, or underweight, normal weight, overweight, and obese. And we didn't find any differences, but from the figure in front of you, you could easily see that um, it appears that the children who ingest more creatine have tended to uh, be um, uh, either taller or, or actually the higher uh, stature for age. Um, uh, outcomes and also uh, as well for the BMI, BMI for, for age um, uh, no matter we didn't find any, any significant differences in terms of, in terms of the specific um, uh, outcomes. Uh, when we did the regression analysis, uh, both with a crude model and adjusted model that has been uh, adjusted for, for important demographic variables uh, or core variates, including the gender, ethnicity, ethnicity uh, annual income, energy intake, and total protein, uh, we definitely uh, found a significant association between the dietary creatine intake and most primary and secondary outcomes across the, the sample, except for BMI for age in the crude uh, model. Um, uh, to uh, perhaps uh, summarize this in, in one sentence, it appears that uh, if you add 1 point, uh, 0.1 gram of creatine per day, uh, you will see the increase in height by approximately 0 0.6 centimeters in the simple model or, or 0 0.3 centimeters in adjusted uh, model. Uh, finally, uh, we did some cross tabulation uh, analysis uh, uh, for uh, stature for age uh, across different quartiles of creatine intake, and we um, uh, found something that appears to be uh, really interesting. It, uh, um, actually, the participants from the quartile 3 are significantly different from others, particularly in terms of uh, having a higher rates of tall stature. So it appears that those kids are actually taller who are taking approximately 1.1 grams of creatine per day compared to other uh, quartiles. That, that, that was not the case for the uh, quartile uh, four or other uh, differences were not found across creatine quartiles, uh, also for BMI uh, for age categories. So let's uh, give a short interpretation of these uh, results. We definitely found here that uh, in the our sample of children in the last tense, uh, those uh, participants who had a higher intake of creatine have definitely higher stature, weight, and BMI compared to their uh, lower inta low intake uh, counterparts. And it appears that uh, this has been followed by a stepwise rise corresponding to an incremental uh, increase in, in di dietary creatine intake. Uh, the mean dietary creatine intake uh, appears to be similar across uh, different categories for stature for age and BMI uh, for age, but uh, the participants from the third quartile that have an intake approximately 1.1 gram for creatine per day were significantly different from others with respect to having higher rates of stall stature. Uh, the trends remained even after we controlled the, the models for various demographic and nutritional variables and definitely dietary creatine appeared positively associated with most growth uh, indicators. This is uh, partly in line with previous studies because we already know that um, a normal uh, creatine levels in, in the mothers during the uh, final trimester of pregnancy um, is a very important protective factor against uh, a, a, a bad perinatal uh, outcomes. And also, we know that uh, fallow growth is, as, is positively associated with creatine levels you know, with each unit increase in maternal creatine goes with approximately 1.23 unit increase in birth weight a centile and also 0 0.11 centimeters increase in birth uh, length. Um, another um, uh, study that actually uh, suggests the link between uh, creatine levels and growth uh, is uh, undertaken back in 1965 by Japanese group. Uh, they found that undernourished boys aged uh, 8 to 11 years actually have a lower creatine levels due to diet deficient in, in creative building components and uh, 
somehow the nutritional supplementation uh, providing extra creatine might uh, compensate for that uh, shortfall uh, towards weight uh, gain. Um, the studies uh, confirm the link between creatine intake and growth, particularly in children suffering from creatine deficiency uh, syndrome. And an interesting study uh, also reported that um, if you add in creatine, you will see a significant increase in a height in children who suffered from acute uh, lymphoblastic uh, leukemia. So uh, the reason why creatine might uh, um, positively affect the growth in children and adolescents uh, could be due to several uh, possible reasons and factors, including the improved energy metabolism, uh, bone mass accretion, and also uh, fat-free mass augmentation. Uh, but you know, uh, I think uh, this study is also uh, very important in terms of finding kind of uh, threshold of dietary creatine linked with advanced uh, growth. It appears that um, uh, the children and adolescents who are consuming extra creatine, they definitely will have a, a taller st stature, but um, the tallest uh, of all quartiles was the third one. So uh, uh, approximately, if you're, if you're consuming uh, from 0 0.84 to approximately 1.5 grams of creatine, you will definitely have a higher uh, stature com uh, com uh, comparing to other uh, groups and additional extra creatine above that was not necessarily accompanied by a higher prevalence of total stature in, in our population. So uh, the, some creatine, uh, ab about 1.1, might be appropriate to facilitate uh, growth. Uh, and probably the fact that the uptake of creatine from the diet of about one gram is required uh, to achieve steady state in the adult population as far as, as we know, uh, you'd perhaps need extra creatine to sustain appropriate growth and uh, maturation. Uh, the reasons uh, behind this finding might be related to the uh, possible lower intake of meat-based foods because they are the primary source of uh, creatine and a couple of studies really, uh, 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 previous studies really reported that a high risk of growth retardation among uh, uh, um, children and adolescents might be related to the lower regular meat uh, intake. And in, in my opinion, this is the perhaps uh, first time that we should uh, really uh, consider the protective effect of meat consumption against stunting in children should, should emphasize the possible role of creatine. Creatine might be that important component from the meat uh, related to the appropriate growth and maturation in, in children. So in the future, perhaps addressing uh, the optimal creatine consumption in this uh, population uh, could be uh, seen as an important public uh, health uh, uh, intervention. And we probably should consider fostering diets rich in creatine containing foods or uh, creatine supplementation or even develop uh, new uh, paradigms of food fortification with creatine for some populations including pediatric po population still many more um, open questions need to be addressed uh, regarding uh, this concept and of course we really don't know right now the reference intervals of dietary creatine requirements for this pediatric population Besides using the pretty um, robust uh, uh, statistical methods and the large um, enhanced sample, several limitations have to be highlighted when interpreting the results of this uh, study, including the cross-sectional design. You know the, already that uh, this type of studies prevent any conclusions about cause and effect. We didn't analyze any temporal changes, so it might be a it might be a matter of of, of time and the specific um, intakes in terms of the uh, specific enhanced round or really uh, might be different across the different countries on different parts of of the world. The method of uh, collecting the dietary information is also a bit limited, and we uh, really cal calculated the creatine intake. Uh, omitting to consider the differences in variability between different meat uh, products. So to conclude here, really we found that dietary intake of creatine um, in taller children appears to be higher than in the shorter uh, uh, peers and the positive cause association between creatine and growth remain robust even after adjusting for main demographic and nutritional variables. Taking enough 
creatine might be uh, really important to ensure advanced uh, growth and future research have to monitor uh, uh, those uh, changes uh, during time. So, uh, guys, thank you for your attention. I would like to really uh, thank also my uh, co-workers and colleagues, my postdocs working in my lab, Darinka and Valdemar, who uh, helped me in, in building this program in this specific uh, paper. Thank you so much.